Good morning again. So I've got another um, kind of a real quick video about why we should take a 3D when we have access to a 3D machine instead of just a panoramic. Um, just because of the extra information that it gives us and when we're talking about dosing, radiation dosing, you know when I've got 52 microsieverts radiation versus 27 microsieverts radiation, you know I, I see substantial benefit in taking a full 3D, excuse me, instead of taking a panoramic if the patient is in need of a panoramic because we can always create a panoramic from a 3D. So here you see a patient from five minutes ago, she's actually still in the chair right now, that came in because she wants to get her wisdom teeth out and so as a you know matter of routine practice we normally need a panoramic type x-ray that's less than six months old. So the assistant asked me should I take a panoramic or should I take a 3D and I said well let's take a 3D um, because we can create a panoramic from a 3D, right? Um, and so this is what we see. Um, here's our patient. Um, don't really get a hint of anything going on. She's got some obviously impacted wisdom teeth. Um, here's her panoramic. Let me move my head over here a little bit. Yes, there's an abscess there, right? So we think, okay, tooth number two has an abscess. We're gonna need some uh, treatment on tooth number two. Well, if you go to the actual 3D, let's scroll through this. You can see how monstrous this abscess is on tooth number two. Does it affect number three at all? I think it probably does. Um, so if we go to the sagittal slicing here, look at that. It's including the distal root of tooth number three. So um, I'm going to go back and compare the 3D panoramic to the 3D. It looks like we have three teeth that are connected in this abscess here. Let's go back to the panoramic. Yes, there's some connection here. It's not nearly as clear though in the 3D imaging here. So I would encourage you if you have access to a 3D x-ray machine to always take a 3D in lieu of a panoramic on adult patients um, if it's indicated. Uh, primarily because it gives us so much more information. Just a tremendous amount of information. Um, so for her, you know, we've already recommended the wisdom teeth extractions, um, root canal through the crown with a composite, um, a crown and a core buildup with a root canal on tooth number three. Um, it's going to be a busy day for her. Um, I don't know that we're doing it today, um, but certainly that should really be a shout out to the diagnostic capabilities of a 3D machine. <laughs> um, instead of just a panoramic, I mean, look at that. You can see how extensive that abscess is. Um, and as we come to the mesial, you can see it, it's definitely connected um, on the distal root of tooth number three. So that's another thought for you. Take a 3D instead of just a panoramic. Um, again, if it's indicated and on adult patients um, in the correct indication, because it just gives you so much more data, so much more detail, it makes our diagnostic um, ability you know, just takes it up to the next level. So, thanks.